Last week on Stoked on Fishing, we were in Baja, Mexico, hanging out at the Jewel of the East Cape, Hotel Buena Vista Beach Resort for our annual Stoked on Fishing Fiesta. The resort is the absolute perfect destination for this event. Epic weather, fishing, food, and a lovely pool that complements the big blue ocean. On this episode, the bigger size yellowfin tuna start to show up for multiple boats, making things interesting for the overall points race. One big fish can make or break your chances. Round two of the Stoked on Fishing Fiesta fires up now. Game on. Biting today, no doubt. And seeing Ryan's fish was all time. That was, uh, that was crazy. Okay, you need to get some, you know what, on that finger. And accept. Yeah. Yeah. Get that taken care of. Only that wide. Those needle fish are sharp, though. They are. They are. I didn't even think I felt anything. I looked down. I go, what? Good day. Wow. You guys might be in first place today. Maybe. We got one more boat to come in. Let's see. We'll see. That goes underwater. There you go. We are here at the fantastic Buena Vista Beach Resort. Wiki Wiki Fish Team is stoked on fish. With my father, many generations. We're on the third generation of Wiki Wiki boat right now. This has been around for a long time. It's a bad habit. It's <laughs> it, good habit. It started long ago. It's great, and this trip is kind of dedicated to my dad. This oh, is just perfect. Just, just perfect. Yeah. Hi. Hi. My name is Bob Biddles. Tim. I'm, I'm Pat Surge, and I'm glad to be here. This ah! well, I, I did not get some, but I want some. Okay, we're sending it your way. How's the food been? Unbelievable. The service, impeccable, family, friendship. Today, good morning. Today we take the lead for good. The money maker today, buddy. It is a money maker. Yeah, good morning, Shay. Yeah, we're at a very, very close, tight race here. Uh, I think there's about 30 pounds separating the top boat from the from the low boat. So everybody has a chance here to win some money and uh, some cool prizes. We're gonna go out and get him today. Oh, now you're on camera. You're looking all pretty this morning. What are you doing out here so early with the fishermen? <laughs> yeah, looking all the boats and see the sunrise. Okay. I love to see every morning the sunrise. Every time when I'm here, I'm, I come to see the sunshine. Good 
old-fashioned beach launch right there, huh? That's typical old-school Mexico right there. Yeah. From the sand, on the sand. Oh! oh my god. They're starting to come. Oh my up. god. Oh my god. Here they come. Here they come. Slow troll some uh, sardinas. As we were coming up here, I could see a couple fish roll. We threw some baits and the trollers went off. Good call, dude. It's our first little uh, fish in the morning. A beautiful morning at that. Is that pie though? I'll tell you that. New Tesoro. New PCH, it's a wicked little combo. 30 pound on top of the Spectra. Just give me a little line here. Yeah, we just saw some. Yeah, I'm getting a little line. We still got a little bit to go though, but he's definitely not a 10 pounder. Small hooks. Still on this bad boy. Right, One of those things that some guys do, some guys don't. But you can see how I have both my thumbs on the Spectra. And it's almost like you know when you can pull them. You do not do that when they're pulling. But right now I'm just slowly trying to turn them. And it helps when the fish is close. And or you need to do something about it and change change the fight. No rush, and then it's slowly but surely, slowly but surely towards the end you start bumping up your drag a little bit. Or he's just going to sit on you, and you're going to be sitting in the sun for a long time. Good one. Yes. Okay, I just got some line off. Fine line between pulling with light line and a small hook. A little different gear, but sweat starting to build up on this dude's dome. Yep. Is it on? All right, Shay, he's on your line, so just. I got him spinning. I got him spinning right now. I can cut it here. Oh, that was a Oh, no. <laughs> Here he comes, here he comes. Come on, real, watch the calf. There we go. <laughs> Get him right here. You can get 
The run out to the Gulf of Mexico from Venice Marina is from 7 to 30 miles long. About five to six months out of the year, we are running in fog. We're talking about zero viz fog. When I get on this boat in the morning and I turn that radar on, I know 25 miles later when I'm sitting in the Gulf of Mexico, it's still gonna be working and I've gotten there safely. I'm gonna live or die by my radar. I'm gonna make a living by my sonar. That's 100% why I've gone with Simrad. If you want it, you can keep it. You can take it home. there dude. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> that thing exploded on that squid I told you. They were feeding on all, all of our squid. There's another big fish on the wrong gear. He was on top of the water. He was pissed. Yeah, we're just gonna have to bump and go with him. This light tackle. I mean, that wasn't five feet behind the boat, dude. Yeah. Five feet. Just throw it. Just throw it in and there's more. There's a big jack over there. Jack. Jack or Jack Little Dorado over here. There's another one. Ryan, I would be putting a sardine in the water right now. It's too small, we're gonna let it go. Yeah. Okay. We need to let them grow. Fighting. Yeah, I was gonna say it, absolutely. And we're trying to catch a big tuna on this thing? 
<laughs> Ryan, that's Ryan's rig, of course. Um, you need some dikes? Alright. I'm gonna have to cut it over there. It's still way inside. Play the little dude. And away he goes. Sleeping the other squid biter? Another squid biter. <laughs> I like that rig. That's a little bit more of a power rig. Two speed. Whew. Another nice fish, I'm sure. It's on the squid. I don't even know if he knows he's jet. Oh. Now the fish came through, everybody's hooked. <laughs> Crazy on the squid. Not a really big one, but much bigger than a football. Oh, yeah. Is that on a circle hook? Yeah, on a circle. And 40 pound. Nice. Leader. Nice. We're gonna get a couple of tuna. We keep trimming a little bit of squid and put squid on another hook on one of the small hooks. It doesn't matter. Let's do the, uh, the two with big hooks, with circle hooks, and let's do more squid. Okay. They were very active. Yeah, right they were on that no problem, huh? You were watching them eat it, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I was taking a couple big... Oh. Throw a couple yeah. of them, and right away, like that. <laughs> I mean, that squid was no more than 50 feet down in it. That's probably a prime rib squid. <laughs> Beautiful. I will say this. Real nice. To uh, have a center council to be able to walk around the boat. Yeah, that's for sure. And this Everglades is real nice. The good news is a circle hook. It's mandatory I have a circle hook. The last one I had was a tiny little hook. <laughs> yeah, me too. So. <sighs> Not much you can do, just pull. Put a bend on them. Sickles. 
when you dig deep, dude. Easy. Okay. I might come up on the road. What is going on? It's okay. All right. It's fishing, I guess. Was it? Okay. Too much water, man. Okay. Now I'm gonna need you in the corner then, because I I cannot reach it. Far. Yeah. Boat yet, Ryan? <laughs> Cannot believe that line. Uh, wow! Thank you for blessing us with your presence. Nobody ever said it would be easy. We got one in the boat. Shay, 40 minute battle. What happened there? Thought we had him. Felipe actually had a, got a great, great stick. These fish. Sometimes you can get them in their circles and bring them up high, and that's what we did. I was up at the front, I brought them in high over here. He stuck them, and the calf just broke. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. Strong fish, man. Yeah, yeah, it's just a heavy fish. I mean, that thing's probably 60. Make a long story short, he went back in, and I just had to put the lever down and stick my thumb in the drag and, and just pull. And that's what you can do with circle hooks. You, you got a fighting chance with the circle hook, so. Yeah. We got him on the boat. 400. <laughs> Getting it done again. 30 pounds drag and it, it can <laughs> put the wood to it. Rod, We're definitely a little light for uh, these 60, 70, 80 pounders. I'm sure there's a 90 pound around here somewhere, but um, you saw the bend in it. It handled it, but uh, we need the, uh, the one up. <laughs> Stoked on Fishing is powered by Simrad, the world's most trusted fish finding electronics, marine equipment, and navigational solutions. Simrad, go with confidence. And by Okuma Fishing Tackle, delivering more than just great fishing gear, Okuma delivers the inspiration to get outdoors and hit the water. And by Ricante Hot Sauce, Pura Vida in a bottle. The flavor revolution has begun, and Ricante is here to fill the void with its brand new chili guaro mix, direct from Costa Rica. And by El Dorado Sport Fishing, 85 feet of space for fishermen who want to get away from the crowd and have some fun in the sun.